All right. Welcome back. Uh, that, uh, you didn't participate in any of that, but I have to tell you that that was, uh, that was a really neat hour that I just lost in my life trying to get everything to work. I've been experiencing some technical difficulties, but we're going to soldier on and uh, uh, keep going. Uh, so, Starforged. Let's talk about that. Uh, when we last left Pearl, things were complicated. We had uh, recovered K from the uh, clutches of uh, Meridian Corporation on the uh, on the planet of Glimmer and made our way back to uh, Paladin and Party along with um, what appears to be sort of a baby Wraith. Star Wraith? Um, Wisp? Wisp is what we were calling him, I think. Um, so, uh, I, I tested my... Uh, our connection with, with K was tested a little bit, but we came up through that with flying colors. And I made a vow uh, to K to save the small Wisp from their misuse and help them. So we have... Uh, we have one Wisp, but we also know that this thing in this container was what Paladin used... I'm going to assume, un unknowingly, what uh, what uh, Paladin used to um, sort of secure a safe spot uh, on this uh, dead rock uh, covered in a precursor amoeba, sort of. Um, so I need to recover that and get that get that back from the sort of space yurt that he uh, he stashed on that planet. Um, right. So we. Uh, made our way off the planet using the cloak technology and from there we're planning on setting out to um, that system uh, having slipped away from the planet i believe we slipped away did we slip away let's find out yes we did actually do that uh good to know uh we we did uh face danger with stealth uh shadow and a couple of bonuses there and that got us off the planet and off and away and we needed to uh, set a course because having gone this way before we actually kind of know where we need to go to get to this thing So we still have to travel through space and traveling through space is never safe never easy um, But sometimes it could be a little bit easier um, Than it has been in the past so uh, conveniently we've charted this course We know this route and hopefully that will help us as we set a course Assuming I can find it set a course when you follow a known route through perilous space across hazardous terrain or within a mysterious site. Roll plus supply, which is at four right now. On a strong hit, you reach your destination and the situation favors you. Take plus one momentum. All right, so let's uh, let's get a roll. I don't have any bonuses for this type of thing. Not really from the way we're doing it. We are simply setting out. There's no question as to whether, there's no uh, adjustments here for, as to whether or not we are sneaky or moving quickly or anything like that. We just roll. So there we go and off we go. Oh. Let's first roll the game. So exciting. Let's find out. And it is a that is a weak hit. A six and a four, a six. All right. So on a weak hit, you arrive, but you face a cost or complication. Choose one. Suffer cost in route. Make a suffer move or two suffer moves or face a complication at the destination. Um, this is a straight jump. We know where we're going. I don't love a suffer move, really. Um, but complications sound great because we have a lot of unknowns now. We have these extra... Uh, uh, myths, wisps with us, and uh, wraiths, whatever we want to call them. And I like wisps better. And we're coming to this area that clearly reacts to them. So, basic complication. Let's go to our oracles and take a look at some of the rolls. Let's see what we get. Shrouded discovery, charge, warning. Shrouded. Shrouded discovery. Okay. Planet side peril. The realization that something was left behind. Yeah, we we did we did realize that. Warning. Okay. Okay. So we come. We're we're in warp, and we're in we're, warp. We're in the, we're in uh, uh, this E drive. We're in the we're in the drift, and when we come out of the drift uh, over this planet, uh, K lets out kind of a. Uh, uh, an exclamation, uh, just a, just a, uh, and I, I'm, uh, I say, Earl says, uh, uh, okay, what's, what's, what's the matter? What's going on? And the, and the, the container that has the, the smaller, I'm going to say the baby, um, in it is, is also seems to be flickering 
her flickers in, in kind of an agitated way. And I, I say, uh, you know, what, what's, what's, what's the matter? What's, what's going on? Is something wrong? Is something down on the planet or no, I, I, I feel the great one, the, the one that we encountered in, in, in the star lanes when we escaped from, from the Meridian system, from my home, when we, when we set out there and, and it pursued us, I feel it. It senses me. It senses us. I think it's coming, Earl. I th and I think about the size of this thing. We're talking about like these freaking ship destroying. They're not wraiths at that scale. They're tempests. And that's not great news. So, okay. All right. Sure. Uh, are they coming quickly? No, they're very far. Wait, yes. They are very far, but they are coming quickly. All, all right. Are they angry? They are agitated. Agitated. I, I, I don't think I want to see it agitated. No, I don't think that would be very good. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. All right. Well, then let's let's get down there and uh, see just what we got going on here. I guess. Um, listen, uh, uh, Kay. I hope it's I hope it's not any great imposition, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna need your help on this. You see that stuff down there? It it tends to get out of the way when well, when you show up. So if you come down with me, we're gonna need to get up close a little bit as uh, as we as we descend. Can you come with me? Uh, yes, Earl. Anything to recover one of these small creatures. One of these, you call them babies, these, these child wisps. Yeah, 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 child thing. This is strangest damn, I don't even know what. All right. So what we're gonna do? Uh, okay. So we, uh, uh, Earl and uh, Kay, go down to essentially the cargo bay here uh, of the ship, and uh, let's get this lovely uh, car, uh, bridge out of the way here. And we're gonna move that off to the side. The art is not by them. And we'll get Earl out of the way. And we're down here to the cargo bay. You'll see this kind of like patch here where this the whole bottom kind of lowers out like an elevator and uh we're gonna get down there and if you remember we we did this before we we came down over top of the uh amoeba goo or whatever and lowered ourselves and we had the little thing out and that was enough to get the thing to draw back and lower it so uh we get uh zeb to pull up over the appropriate coordinates and then we basically lower that thing down and stand there and and i kind of it's like zeb maybe you might need to well I, what do, what do I do, Earl? Uh, honestly, I don't I don't uh, I don't entirely know. Uh, well, hell. So we're gonna um, we're gonna face danger just to see if we can figure out how to just what to even do uh, here. So we're gonna all right face danger. <clears throat> we are moving with heart resolve. I think resolve. We must do this thing. I think that's the best one. We're gonna go with heart. So I'm gonna roll with heart, and I don't think I have any bonuses on this. I guess theoretically I could probably take uh, uh, Kay's bonus as a guide, but I don't know. I'm gonna say no. All right, and that is ah, uh, that's a that is a strong hit with a match. Six against two fives. Okay, on a strong hit you're successful. Take plus one momentum. I can do that. On a miss you fail. Okay, so strong hit, but a strong with a match. Match opens up some kind of opportunity okay. as we get down there and, and maybe maybe uh, Zeb lowers the face plate like the, the the shield like the mirrored plate so it's just clear and the light kind of shines out and this this thing kind of draws back well that's a little bit on the nose the plant side opportunity is an abandoned camp or vehicle we did that we abandoned the camp that's what we we're here for in the first place okay to go moment of fellowship or inner peace all right all right so the opera what what this opens up for us here this bond he lowers it and we see this thing draw back and and we lower and we see the camp down below the camp you know this this sort of insta yurt that uh paladin gave us i can feel it i can feel it earl you brought it you you brought us you brought us to it it's 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 strong it's stronger than the other one it's it's I can almost hear it speaking. It's thank you, Earl. Thank you so much. And and I'm going to take this as an opportunity to strengthen our bond. And uh, you know, this moment of fellowship or inner peace. Well, uh, okay, I'm I'm happy to do it. Um, uh, 
I didn't realize what we'd done in the first place, and I'm happy to undo something that was, uh, uh, I'm happy to undo something that shouldn't have been done in the first place. If you already share a bond with the connection, don't mark progress. Instead, roll their rank to learn. Okay, wait, I do, sh wait, sorry. I don't have a bond with K yet. I am still forming a bond. So when you reinforce your relationship with the connection by doing any of the following, which I did, you may mark progress according to the rank of the connection. So I go back over here. We got a moment of bonding and we are going to mark. There's another half a half a box on, on K here. I'm doing a little bit at a time, but I'm making decent progress on this. I'm fairly happy about this. Okay, so we, we get down. And again, the ships landed on this rocky surface of what was originally this 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 dead rock of a moon, and we can see again the shadowy outlines of possibly these cyclo cyclo cyclopean cy cyclopean big blocky uh, precursor brutalist architecture shadowed in in through the amoeba that's pulled back, like you know, and and these great un you know undefined shapes moving within that. Uh, but not not breaching, not coming through uh, the barrier, but circling, perhaps watching. And there's that there's that little thing. So we, uh, K and I, the ship sets down, and K and I uh, uh, go over there, and uh, K retrieves the little thingy, uh, the little container, and is 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 sort of talking to it. And uh, I break down the. Uh, Instigator, which is a hell of a lot easier to put up than it is to break down, I have to say. It's just kind of a pain in the neck. But Paladin asked me to do this thing, and, and that's what I'm going to do. So, all right. Um, all right. So, K is headed back to the ship, and I think... What do we do? What's happening now? I'm going to I'm going to take this opportunity while I'm doing this together information. I'm, I'm just putting two and two together. I'm watching this space... Hey, don't go too far. I don't want this thing collapsing on us. If you go all the way inside, the ship's radiation shielded, and you're basically radiation. So if you go inside, it might not know you're there. So just stay on the platform, will you? And uh, which is adorable because it tries to nod, which it's not a good at, and b it's in a spacesuit, so you just it doesn't work. Um, but it tries. So I am going to kind of search for clues on this thing and just see what I can find out about what's going on here. So. What can I learn? That's a weak hit. On a weak hit, the information provides new insight, but also complicates your quest. Envision what you discover. All right, so what do I learn? The situation is fraught. This is what Earl's thinking about right now. The situation is just complicated. We don't know anything about what's going on. Meridian's not going to leave us alone. We know that. Somehow, these, whatever K is, these, these wisps, these tempests, are connected to these precursor vaults. They're like keys. They're like, they've been keyed to these areas, like they've been waiting for them, like they're, or, or they're, or they're an, antithetical to the nature of the defenses that the precursors left behind. If they even are defenses, it could be a freaking, uh, uh, like janitor amoeba gone am run amok and grown planet sized over the, or, well, continent sized over the course of, you know, two millennia. Who the hell knows? Um, but in any case, it doesn't, it, it pulls back, and so does the stuff on the other planet, and it just seems like, Meridian at least seems to be convinced that these things are the key to getting access to this stuff. So fine. What do we do with that? How do we find out what they're after? The only way to get them to back off is to find out more about what they're doing. JVC, you know, the, the Jeffrey's Vega Collective was no use whatsoever because they, they don't really know what happened to the Zebulon Harding. Last time I went there, they got pissed off at us. I'm not going anywhere near them. Paladin didn't know anything about this. In fact, was using some of this captured wisp stuff, uh, not really knowing any better. And then you have Lagrange, and Lagrange is sitting over here. This vital world that's been at war. Meridian's been attacking it this whole time. Vital world, orbital settlement, scarred surface, unfriendly atmosphere. Currently in battle. And one has to ask the question, why? Because if Meridian wants something from them, they must know why. And if they know more about Meridian than me, they're useful. So maybe you know, I can wander around the stars, I can make a run for it and try to get to another different sector, but that's not going to fix my problem. And I said that I was going to help these things, which means I need to find some place that's safe for them. So 
that's what I'm going to do. Get back onto the ship, hauling this thing back onto the ship, and then we pull back up in there and we slowly retract up and out. And Zeb asks, where are we going now, Earl? And I said, we're going to go back to that that temperate planet, Lagrange, that was at war with Meridian. But we're going to have to do it without going through Last Hope, the glimmer of, glimmer of hope. We're going to have to go a long way around and hope that we don't run into Kay's angry big brother on the way. So what I'm planning on doing here is plotting a course that doesn't use these known rounds over to Lagrange because I want to avoid this system since there's like a freaking theatically huge blockade there. And I'm going to set out on uh, undertake an expedition and, and create a new route over here to Lagrange, hopefully. Unfortunately, right about here is where I ran into that damn tempest that we now know is coming straight at us. So that's going to be a whole thing. Normally, I would say that this is a difficult journey, but I think, or uh, uh, sorry, a troublesome journey, but I think it's going to become difficult because of the challenges that have been put in our way. So I am going to begin that. All right, let's set a course here and see if we get you know, anything that even kind of looks like some sort of stellar phenomena. We want to steer clear of it. All right, Kay. Sorry, Zeb. And with that, we are going to go over here and we are going to under... Well, we, okay, so let's look at my stuff. Can we get a look at the star charts over here and figure out exactly what's going on? Uh, get a better idea what we can uh, plan for this or do we just want to well what do you think well it's probably moving so the star charts won't do a lot of good but we can do I can do a gravitic scan and see if there's any stellar anomalies that don't match the star charts yes I could look for a look I'd look for things that don't match all right let's see if we can do that now what I'm doing here is I'm going to secure an advantage but I'm going to do it by rolling the integrity of the ship and with that, I'm going to essentially roll uh, uh, health here, since the integrity is currently that. And that will let me do secure an advantage, which is a 10 against, unfortunately, a 10 and a 3. So under secure an advantage, uh, on a strong hit, you can take both. On a weak hit, I have to pick one of these. I can either take plus 2 momentum or add plus 1 on my next move. And I think I'm going to do plus 2 momentum. I'd like to get momentum up a little bit higher. And basically, this is just making me feel a little bit more confident about the move uh well i don't see anything directly in our path and it's possible it's going to be following the known space lanes since that is the uh that are the route that was the route it was following in the first place if we're lucky perhaps it runs afoul of the meridian fleet i like the way you think seb i like the way you think well that's that's good earl because really thinking is all i am that's not true zeb you also uh you're a hell of a pilot better than me i think well thank you earl Although, really, that's just thinking from my point of view. Interesting. Interesting. Good point. Uh, well, fair enough. All right. So uh, we're going to undertake an expedition. And we are going to try to move stealthily because we are trying to work without uh, drawing the attention of either Meridian or the Tempest. So I am. we're trying to keep under the radar rolling shadow. My assets for this might be... Hmm. I can move by hiding concealing and I'm not fleeing and I don't think my stealth tech really applies for this maybe it does when you make a move against a specific foe or threat to avoid detection well actually it is a specific foe I am specifically trying to avoid that tempest so I'm going to take plus one uh so we're going to undertake the expedition and we're going to engage the, engage that cloaking tech maybe that'll help us with this thing hopefully it doesn't throw out tension to ourselves that'd be worse uh, all right, so let's uh, let's uh, undertake that expedition, and we are rolling shadow plus four, <laughs> and that's a weak hit, uh, nine. But unfortunately, we got a ten uh, coming at us, so that is just awesome. Uh, all right, undertake the expedition on a weak hit. You reach waypoint, but the progress costs you. Choose one. You can suffer cost en route, make a suffer move, or you can make two suffer moves at minus one. Face peril at the waypoint. Envision what you encounter. I think that we are cruising along. It seems to be going well, and suddenly the ship very abruptly drops out of drift, out of the drift, out of e-space. And the ship sort of automatically sounds a proximity alarm, which is immediately canceled by Zeb. Sorry, sorry, Earl, I didn't, that, excuse me, that was unexpected. Oh, it, it's all right, Zeb. Uh, what's going on? Why did we drop out of, 
Well, we received uh, I, I received a proximity warning that we were going to collide with some sort of significant mass. Well, is it the is it the tempest? No, 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 it's not the tempest. It's well, you should come up here and look. So we see Earl come up to the the, the bridge, look out through the front gangplank and or gangplank go through the front viewport and his face kind of goes a little bit slack and he's like oh and then the camera pulls back to see the ship from the outside and we're looking at basically this as the ship is flying into uh well something something weird so earl we should probably go around yeah yeah we should probably go around listen uh I think we should take a look at this as Earl just the the explorer gene in him just completely derails their progress and he needs to stop and take a look at what's going on here. So we're going to explore Waypoint and we're going to explore Waypoint next because unfortunately, like I said, I, I struggled for about an hour getting my tech stuff going here. Uh, I'm tired, my eyes are burning, and I would like to uh, get some sleep. So, we will pick this back up, but we are going to pick this up right at this glorious uh, disaster of a scene here. Let's center this thing so we can take a look at it. That'll be, that'll be the picture that we have for today. And, uh, yeah, when we, when we come back next, we're going to find out what the heck we just wandered into here. That should be fun. Guys, thanks very much. Uh, I know I missed a week on this, and I apologize for that. It has been crazy. Uh, tomorrow marks the last day of my dog having to go up uh, to get radiation treatment. So we are almost done with that. He is doing great. A little tired, a little worn out. So are we all. Uh, it's a lot right now to be traveling and doing that every day. Uh, it's a long drive. It's a long time sitting in a car waiting for it to be done. It's a long drive back. So uh, that's been going on. A lot of other weird stuff's been going on. Uh, if you're looking at my, just my general YouTube channel, I've been poking around a little bit at you know, an online game. And just you know, when I get some downtime, I just uh, I want to bed, veg. And I'm flying around spaceships, but it's a little bit different. Uh, but we're going to be back to this. I'm very glad to be back to this. So I'll be doing some more on this soon. In the meantime, at least we have a pretty picture to look at. That's something, right? That's pretty good. Uh, all right. So thanks very much. We will return next time to find out what the heck is going on here. Cheers all. And thanks again so much for the support, the comments. Uh, it is appreciated more than you could possibly know. So thanks.